Brittany Richardson. I'm not sure if you're familiar with her. Uh, she kind of, yes, she kind of, uh, she, she kind of, uh, threw your name out here to me as a, as a person of interest that, you know, that, uh, that I might want to talk to you. Um, uh -huh. and I think, uh, I think the topic it's, it's, it's what cyber bullying or something like that. Right. Yeah, cyber stalking. Cyber, cyber stalking. Yeah. Cy cyber stalking. Okay, so are are you are you a truck driver or what what are what are you? No, I'm a model and influencer and an investigative reporter. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know, because <laughs> I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking you a truck driver and I'm over here like, you know, truck with truck driver questions, but you know, this <laughs> this is something you know, this is something else something else different as a different topic, but you know, but that's what it is on the Lockout Man podcast show. You know, we just open conversations over over here. So before we get into that, all right, all right, let's get into it. Betty Wassum in the building. What's going on with you this morning? How you feel? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Got me some errands done. Got some stuff going. Doing really well. How are you, babe? I am doing all right. I am doing all right. Shout out to uh, Brittany Richardson's for bringing us together. That is the truck driver, Brittany in pink. Um, she yeah. had, she uh, she kind of like got me in contact with you because, you know, Brittany went through a whole bunch of issues uh, dealing with uh, dealing with this particular topic. Uh, she was uh, harassed online. She was stopped online. Uh, it was it was a whole other ish, a whole lot of issues which forced her to go to the FBI. Um, she uh, reached out to me. We did a couple of segments, and now she, you know, forwarded me over to you. Uh, do me a favor, introduce yourself, and let everybody know uh, what you're all about. Well, my name is Betty Washam. I'm 46 years old. I'm a model, an influencer, and an investigative reporter. And um, I came to YouTube about 2017, and I was more on the political side. Mm -hmm. So I got really big, really, really fast. Like I had 17,000 subscribers within three months. Mm. Was that well, was 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 that because what well, well, what was it what was it that uh that popped you off with that many subscribers because you said you was in a political you you're a model you're an influencer and all like that so which one of those traits really got you out there? It was mostly my investigative reporting of you know the child sex trafficking rings. Mm -hmm. um, the way that, you know, people behind the scenes are, especially in the modeling industry, um, you know, things of that nature. And I was in a Reddit group of like 450,000 people. Okay. 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 All right. Continue. So, um, I came here, I got, I got big really, really fast. Um, when I first came here, it was more of a man's place. You know, mm -hmm. especially with what I was doing, they thought they were taking pedophiles down, which they weren't. They weren't. They weren't doing what? Nothing. So I come in and I start actually taking them down one by one. I'm talking even hundred thousand subscriber channels. I'm taking them down. Okay. Okay. So one girl, she decided she wanted to ask me for money. I did a background check on her because she wanted to work for me as well found mm -hmm. out that she was a certain age and never been married, never had kids. And uh, so she made a GoFundMe and I didn't donate to her. Mm. And she got pissed off and she said, I'm going to fucking ruin you. That was her words to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't think nothing about it, you know. Next thing I know, about, I don't know, 25, 30 of my people left with her. Mm -hmm. And then... She went over to another group of people, another generally on the YouTube. They were from out of the country. Pretty hard to fight them. Mm -hmm. Then she went to another generally 
of the YouTube. And she went through about four or five generations. So at one time, I had 75 videos on seven different pages of me. Wow. All calling me a child predator and a man. All right, and and this and and this cyber this cyber issue started because you didn't donate to her GoFundMe. Yes, that's right. Wow, some people, that's man. That's right. So she, yep. So she got yep. mad. She she got mad. Well, at first you said she wanted to she wanted to work for you. Like how what what she wanted to do? Like do what kind of work? Like the, you know, under investigation and stuff like that, you know, like uh, pulling people's background records and stuff like that, you know, finding out if they were a pedophile, things like that behind the scenes, behind me. Okay. And um, something that you can do on your own. Right. But at the time I was so big that I would pay other people to do some, some work oh, for me. Oh, okay. Okay. So you will outsource it. Okay, so yes. but you did, but you did a, uh, you did a thing on her though. What, what did you find out before all of this? What did you find out about her that made you not, you know, bring her on? Well, when she asked me, you know, after I did her, after I pulled her background, I noticed she'd been in trouble for methamphetamines, and I said, number one, I can't have you on my team. You know, I can't have a felon on my team. Um. And then um, she said, well, can you help me with my car and my house, you know, rent and car, car payment? Okay. And um, I said, yeah, just go make a GoFundMe and I'll see what my warriors can do. So she looked, she sits there and says, well, I can't. I already have four I've made. I said, what? Huh. She said, yeah, I've already made four. I don't think I can make another one. Okay. And I'm like, what in the heck? You know, I'm like, okay. okay. So she she got four go she got four GoFundMe's, whatever the amount previously. that that previously. That, okay, previously four four GoFundMe's, right? But yet over here yes. asking you for some money. I, I think I think she was kind of like hoping that you will open your pocketbook and not your supporters i think she was kind of thrown back when you said well yeah go ahead and make a go fund me and i'll 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 go ahead and you know shoot the information out to my people to see if they'll come along to help you so do you, yes, you would you exactly would you would you think that she got more mad at that than you not putting nothing in her go fund me yes okay Okay. Yes. So. She wanted my money. Okay. Okay. So you, you, you did. Matter of fact, you it came out that she wants to be me. Wow. You, 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 and we share the same birthday. That's even crazier. So you, you just didn't fall for the banana in the tailpipe, pretty much. That's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now she started, uh, a cyber bullying campaign against you. Is this yes. the one? Is is this the one? Is is this the one we talking about? Uh, you know that Britney, uh, that that uh, that Britney caught. I mean, caught wind of. Is this the same one? That's that cyber bullying no, this, you. That one, or that's no, that just one was the start. An actual, that was an actual new one that it just came along. <laughs> oh. I didn't even know nothing about until you told me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that, so you, you, you was involved in a in a lot of cyber bullying or cyber stalking. Yes. So what happened was, um, she got a hold of this one guy, and mm -hmm. he goes by Dank Williams online, right? Mm -hmm. Well, because I, I didn't, I, I put the GoFundMe out there, and I didn't say a word, but I didn't donate. And neither did my people. Right? Right. But she had a Pinterest, too. So I put that in there. Some of my people left, and they went and bought some stuff from me. 
But that wasn't good enough for her. You know, she said, I'm going to ruin you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fucking ruin you with her words, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, yeah, right, bitch. Not thinking much about it, right? But I didn't know that she knew all these groups. You know what I mean? And uh, so she got a hold of this guy named Dank Williams. So Dank Williams comes to my room and he asked me a question about a political question. And since I didn't give him the correct answers, he decided he was going to start stalking me. Mm. Well, we're going on four and a half years. And in the last two weeks, I've took down two of his channels. Because now it has become obsession. It's beyond stalking. It's obsession. So as a person, as a, as a person that's uh, that's getting cyber bullied or cyber stalked, how do you fight that? Well, let me tell you, it's not easy because first of all, you got nothing but stock accounts coming after you. You don't know who the hell's actually after you. Number one, and it take it took me two years to find out this guy's legal name. Two years. You have to literally sit there and watch their channels and watch them fudge up all the time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you live in California? Okay. Oh, your name is George? Oh, okay. And you just start putting the pieces together until you pull a background check and you find out who they really are. That takes a long time. So it took me about two years to find out who all of these people were that was in this big game stalking ring. It got so bad that one guy came in the picture named Tommy Carroll that went by Neil. And it got so bad that he actually was targeting the people that was my subs and taking pictures of their grandchildren and their children and threatening them with their lives if they came to be my, if they were my subs. Mm. Now, all of this is on record. Everything is on record. Matter of fact, there's a woman right now that has eight SD cards of all of this. So, this thing, dude, I, that's what he went by online. You know, he starts asking me questions and shit, so I send him a picture of my driver's license. I send him my mother's obituary. What did he do? He turned around picked a woman out of Washington, Wyoming named Betty Ray Tinker went through her obituary and told everybody online that my mother was not my mother, that this woman was my mother. Why, why did you give him your, why, why, why did you give him your credentials in the first place? Cause he kept calling, he kept saying that I wasn't Betty Washington. He kept putting it all over. She's not a model. She's not Betty Washington. That's not the real Betty Washington. Yeah, but but giving him your giving him your giving him the person that keeps saying that who you not you you gonna give him your credentials? That's just let him just yeah. Just, actually, just, he was really good at a what do you call that gaslighting? Yeah, you know you call that gaslighting. And he was like, um, yeah, just send me some of your stuff, blah blah blah, and I'll take down video, right? Nah. No, nah, that, like that that nah, that 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 don't even sound right to me. Why, why would I? Why would I? You you over here, you over here trashing my name, but yet I got to give you yep. my, I got to give you my credentials to, to to get my name covered from you from you trashing it. That don't sound right. Yeah, yes, and and so I did it, you know, thinking he would go away, thinking he would go away. No, it made it work. It made it even completely worse. I, I would I, I would assume so. So how worse? So how worse did it? How worse did it get? Bef how worse did it get before it got better? Well, um, it was a coordinated attack. They took down my YouTube channel, which was my income. They called me a child predator. They had the FBI and the Internet Child Porn Division at my home checking my electronics with a probable cause affidavit. 
Um, I was cleared, vindicated, of course. And he just kept on and on and on calling me a child predator, calling me a man, calling me a transgender, doing whatever he could possibly do. That's to hurt me. that's defamation of character. Why you just didn't why why didn't you start with the with the legal proceedings on this guy since you got since you got his He took my uh, job. Huh? By the time by the time it was said and done, honey, he took my job. I didn't have no more money. He took my job. I was making like seven thousand dollars a month. He took all my income. How was that possible? Oh, you okay? I I got you. You said you said that YouTube was part of a uh, part of your income. What other what other parts of income that that you had that he was able to take? My modeling job. They didn't want anything to do with it because I was being called a child predator. My influencing jobs. Um, I sold merchandise. I ain't sold merchandise in over two and a half years now. So are you every and that's that's crazy. So are you are are you in a position now because you could still you you could still get him for that, man. I mean defamation of character, lost uh lost income. Yeah, I all mean, that. I'm going to. Problem is it's five thousand dollars for an attorney. Straight up. Well, my videos don't hit 65,000 to 480,000 people a week no more. Because of, and the, de brand, because of the defamation. I started my third brand new channel, and I'm only at 1,690 subs. Wow. You know, make squat. I'm uh, just now getting modeling jobs and influencing jobs again. Wow. Did you now, did you... <laughs> Make a GoFundMe, you know, to see if Hell no, <laughs> no. <laughs> me, you know, to, to to help you get this uh get this case going because you got a case there. There's a case. Oh, I know I got a case. I had to contact my law enforcement, and they're investigating him right now. There's an open investigation right now. Yeah, there's a case against this guy, man. So it got uh it it, it got really it. it it got really intense for you at one point. How long ago was this? Oh, it, I just now took down his uh, channel last night, his new channel. Okay. It goes on every day. All right. Well. And he's got a new channel. He talks about me every day. You know, it's, 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 it's messed up on on social media man i mean it really <laughs> yeah it's really sad let yeah. me tell you it got so bad that i started drinking for six months and then it got so bad that i almost committed suicide well i definitely don't want you to commit suicide <laughs> um no man. i don't think that way no more now it's time for the law to go after him well, now I, it's time to hire an attorney. Well, I hope uh, I I I definitely hope that you're able to get that going. I, I I really see a case for you right here. Um, and cyber bullying, cyber stalking is 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 really an issue. And you know, hopefully, a lot of people could take heed of this. You know, of this story that you shared with us. You know, to just be careful who you give your information to. You know. Yeah, well, even though I gave my information, he kept telling people I wasn't Betty Watson. For three years, people thought I wasn't Betty Watson. That's why I was saying you got to be careful who you give your information to. You know, I mean, it didn't matter that I gave him information because he said my name was Jeanette Tinker. <laughs> well, he tried to make people believe that Betty Watson wasn't me. Well, if you're then when he couldn't do that. Then he tried to make people believe I was a child predator. Then when he couldn't do that, he tried to make people believe I was transgender. Yeah, that that's where you come in and and, and debunk a lot of uh, a a lot of the a lot of the misconceptions about you out. You know what I'm saying? 
But Betty, yeah, man, I had to pull our pictures so I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Betty, man, this is a wild story, man, and I I really do appreciate you sharing that with me, man. Um, what what uh what advice you got for people uh that might you know, that might be going through the same thing as you. What, what, what would you suggest them do before you get up out of here? Well, this is the thing. I tried everything. I filed, you know, an IC3 on them. That didn't work. I contacted my local law enforcement. That didn't work. I contacted the bully, stalking, harassment, um, you know, nonprofit organization. That didn't work. Um, I think that once you start seeing it and they start making the very first videos of you, start documenting it right away. Mm -hmm. If they continue on after, I'd say, after a six-month period and you're still able to keep your job, you're able to have that money to hire that attorney, then you hire that attorney right away. You don't do like me and give them chances and chances and be nice and think they're going to go away because they don't go away. They get worse. They get stronger. They get more accounts. They get more people behind them. And by that time, your channel's gone. Your money's gone. And then you start a new channel. You got 75 videos on seven different pages of you under every one of your copyrighted names. And you have to live with it mm. and get up every morning and go live and get up every morning and do your investigative reporting. That's what's up. Betty wash them. <laughs> That's right. Investigative Betty reporter, investigative reporter, influencer, YouTuber, man, Jack of all trades. Well, I hope everything, I hope everything works out. Uh, works out for you in the future, man. I, I really hope that that this guy gets his just desserts and everything. I really, I really do appreciate you coming on, sharing your story with me, and everything. Shout out to Brittany Richardson for you know linking us together. You are a citizen. Hey man, she's a wonderful woman. Yes, ma'am. You are a citizen. So if you ever got anything that you want to talk about or anything like that, reach out to me and we'll get it in. Sounds perfect. Sounds perfect to me, baby. All right. I thank you for having me. I do. Mm -hmm. And I hope and pray that Brittany and I can stop this from happening to anybody else. Yes, ma'am. Because once they take your money, you can't fight them. Exactly. That's what's up. All right, Betty. Thank you very much. And I'll holler at you later. All right. You have a good one. You too now.